Hi, I'm Scott Kelly, commander of the Expedition 26 crew aboard the International Space Station. What I wanted to try to do today is give you a sense for what our situation is on board with regards to uh, food and, uh, and uh, beverages, how we uh, prepare that, what options we have, and, uh, and how we eat here in space. So uh, the first thing I'd like to do is get started with our, uh, where our food is kept. Uh, the food that we're actually using is kept in node one of the space station and it's uh, basically in these uh, food containers, metal food containers or in, uh, in some bags that we have here uh, staged for our use. But uh, these food containers are categorized in, uh, in uh, different categories I guess you'd say and uh, uh, we have some that are side dishes, meats in uh, pouches and cans, uh, vegetables, and uh, they're, they're actually uh, packaged in different ways. Uh, for instance, most of the, the meat we have and uh, other kind of main dishes are packaged in these, these uh, green containers and we we heat these up in a, in a small uh, food warmer, and I'll show you what that looks like. But uh, basically, they're little green packages of meat, and uh, in this case, this is beef tips with mushrooms, and we have uh, crawfish etouffee. And uh, these are what's called irradiated food, so they're uh, hit with large doses of radiation to kill any bacteria so they can stay at the room temperature and not, not spoil. There's also some stuff in here that's kind of off the shelf like this uh, tuna fish that we have. Um, we also have some rehydratable uh, food items. Water is heavy and uh, I'll talk a little bit about our water uh, later but uh, they take the water out of the food because it's uh, it's more efficient to add it once we once we get on board, and I'll talk about how we make our water here uh, in a little bit. But we have these uh, rehydratable food packages. For instance, here's one. I'll make this for lunch. It's uh, asparagus, and it's in a little plastic container with some dehydrated asparagus. In this case I'll add uh, 50 milliliters of water to it and uh, it takes five to ten minutes to to rehydrate. So with that I'd like to show you uh, how we prepare this food, how we uh, add water, uh, warm it up, and uh, a little bit about the uh, beverages on board as well. So come join me in the lab uh, where, where that uh, that's accomplished. Now we're in the uh, US laboratory module and the first thing I want to show you is how we uh, heat up these green uh, packages of food and these are a lot like the uh, uh, what's called MREs in the military meals ready to eat and uh, you know a matter of fact I think they're, they come from the same company that the US military uses whereas these other packages are are produced uh, at the food lab at the Johnson Space Center. So this is basically uh, this is our food warmer, and it's basically a, a suitcase with some uh, heating elements in it, and we could put a number of uh, different food packages in here. Basically, we just close it up and. Turn it on, and in about uh, 20 minutes, that uh, package of food will be warm. So next, I want to talk about our uh, how we add water both to our drink packages and to the uh, the food packages, and that's also done in the in the laboratory module on the ceiling. And there's a uh, a potable water dispenser there that dispenses both uh, room temperature and and hot water. So uh, let's go over there and check that out. So here we are by the uh, the potable water dispenser, which is on the uh, the ceiling here in the laboratory module, of the space station. And uh, 
we uh, we get our water from different places. Uh, the resupply vehicles will bring up water. The shuttle uh, makes water as a, uh, a function of how it produces electricity, but we also get water from the uh, the Russian uh, progress vehicles and soon from the Japanese and uh, and the uh, European uh, resupply vehicles bring up water as well. The other way we get water is we make it uh, ourselves on board from the, uh, the condensate uh, that is produced in the air due to humidity and uh, and also from our urine. Uh, and believe it or not, the water that is produced from our urine actually tastes better than any tap water I've ever tasted in the United States. It's, uh, you know, better, tastes better than the water on the space shuttle. Um, it's really uh, clear, uh, good quality uh, water. So um, basically we have a way to fill these little packages um, and introduce certain or specific volumes of both uh, hot and, uh, and room temperature water. So I'll, I'll, I'll heat up this, uh, or rehydrate this asparagus, and I basically just put it in here. And uh, I normally don't do this from this position. Um, and I'll put 50 milliliters of uh, hot water in there to heat it up. And uh, as you can see, it now has water in it, and it's rehydrating, and this will take uh, five to ten minutes. Then I'll put some uh, water into my drink bag. I'll put 250 milliliters of water in this drink bag for lemonade. Most of the drinks are kind of sweet. Most of the time, I don't drink these uh, these uh, sweet drinks. Most of the time, I just drink water or coffee. Okay. Then what we do is uh, just put a straw in here. And the other nice thing we have on board is a very small refrigerator and it'll cool these drinks up uh, very nicely. And the next thing I want to show you is uh, you know how we eat this stuff once it's uh, both uh, rehydrated, uh, cooled off in our little fridge, and uh, warmed up in our, our food warmer. So uh, uh, please join me back in Node One around the uh, dinner table where we uh, where we eat. Back in Node 1, where we uh, generally use as our, our kitchen or dining area, and uh, I'm going to show you how we eat this this food. Um, obviously, it's in these packages that we have to we have to cut open, and uh, basically we just eat all this stuff right out of the packaging. So I'm going to cut open my beef stew, and as you can see, some of it's trying to escape on me already. And I generally will eat these things one at a time just because it's easier to manage without, uh, you know, having to put this stuff down. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. It's actually pretty tasty. That was one of my Russian crew members that went by. But it ain't bad. 
Yep, the one in the lab is fine. So, that's the beef stew. This isn't the asparagus I made because the asparagus floated away somewhere. Not sure where it went. I'm sure it'll turn up in a couple of days. And we didn't have uh, we didn't have any more asparagus, so I made some uh, green beans and mushrooms. So we cut this open. And uh, to see it right out of the end of the package. That was Oleg Skripochik again, going back to the Russian segment. And what I generally do, especially at night while uh, eating dinner, is watch the news. And uh, the ground sends up. Uh, NBC Nightly News every uh, every day except on the weekends. So watch it on the computer. They also send up television shows. On our and, broadcast tonight, surprise appearance. Will two presidents do the trick in selling Congress on a tax deal that the current president agreed to? Justice, a long time drama has come to an Here's end. The, uh, Elizabeth Smart kidnapped from the bed tonight for reaction. Cold lemonade. A little on the sweet side for me, but not too bad. And also, uh, we got dessert here. We got various kinds of things to eat for dessert. Uh, some of it is like the package, like the beef stew. Others are rehydratable, and other items are just. Uh, Know in this uh, these individual packages. So here I got dried peaches and some uh, candy coated peanuts. Your President Barack Obama, you're fighting with Congress over a tax deal, and some of your own people are defecting. So who do you call when you call out the reinforcements? The answer is you call the last Democratic president. The two men burst through the door and into the like White said, House briefing room before cameras. Peaches. Today. And once Bill Clinton started and talking, candy coated and almonds. former Clinton and, uh, White House aide put it, it was like 1995 all over again. Another said it was as if select the almonds because they look much better floating around than the dried we peaches. We begin here tonight with our chief White House the peaches aren't bad. Chuck Todd, who witnessed all this in the briefing room. Chuck, good evening. Well, good evening, Brian. Look, for most of the day today, the tax debate has been dominated by Vermont's independent, self-described socialist senator, Bernie Sanders, who's been speaking on the floor of the United States Senate by himself continuously since about 10.30 this morning. Well, about 4 o'clock today, clearly the White House had had enough. So instead of briefing reporters about President Obama's private meeting with President Clinton, President Obama decided to trot out President Clinton himself to brief reporters while it turned into a de facto ex-presidential press conference. The agreement taken as a whole is, I believe, the best bipartisan agreement we can reach to help the largest number of Americans and to maximize the chances that the economic recovery will accelerate good. and create more jobs and to minimize the chances that it will slip back. There's never a perfect bipartisan bill. Dealing with the, uh, the garbage here uh, on board is somewhat of a challenge since you don't have the uh, garbage man <laughs> coming a couple of times a week. We actually have to store our, our uh, trash on, uh, on board for, for several months. Um, so it's important that it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So <clears throat> we already put the, uh, the green beans in there in this little, kind of in the plastic bag that one of the other food items came in. We also want to get as much as of the moisture out of these these uh, this garbage, so it can then be uh, uh, turned back into to drinkable water with our, our uh, 
system that, that converts the, both the humidity and, and urine into uh, uh, potable water. So we try to get as mu much of the moisture out of these as, uh, stuff as we can. And uh, so I just make sure that you know, the packages are as dry as possible. And obviously if I drink this, eventually it's going to wind up back in the uh, potable water system versus you know coming to a uh, fiery end in the, in the re-entry of one of the progress vehicles that, that carries our garbage. Well, oh, get it as basically as dry as possible. And then we uh, separate our wet trash from our dry trash because the wet trash is uh, you know can get more smelly and uh, so we put our wet trash in these uh, Russian uh, waterproof bags and one of these will last me uh, as the only US crew member on board here well over a week we'll get this as small as we possibly can filled up and eventually it'll go in the progress the dry trash is, is uh, stored separately in a in a long uh, plastic trash bag, but I don't have one of those right here to show you. In any case, um, hope you enjoyed um, joining me here for lunch on the International Space Station and, and learned a little bit about how we uh, uh, manage and uh, deal with the, the food and uh, beverages on board. Thanks for, for joining me today.